why corruption exist why do we see cross human rights violations everywhere why there are mass inequality in society while comprehending answers for these questions it is useful to look way back into the evolution of human society a careful consideration of everything we know about the past may explain our current predicament primitive humans were hunters and gatherers and they survived on foraging collection of wild plants and chasing wild animals there was no complicated connection like in the present society between individuals no long supply chains of goods humans remained as hunters and gatherers for around 90% of their existence around 80,000 to 70,000 years before there was a gradual change in the lifestyle of these early humans a significant percent of humans started to settle in comfortable regions instead of moving from place to place seeking resources and safety acquiring skills for agriculture and pasturing domestication of animals paved way for this gradual shift in the lifestyle not everyone made that transition from the wanderers to settlers the hunters and gatherers society were gradually conquered or displaced by the agricultural societies the sedentary lifestyle might have played an important role in the gradual evolution of a code the settlers started owning a lot more things than the hunters and gatherers due to the reason that they stayed in a place and produced everything that they needed the course they followed might have been applicable to ownership of material goods treatment of women and children mating privileges dealing with enemy clans etc the newly found interest in possession of material goods made some of them hoarding and acquiring more resources than they actually needed due to this imbalance those who were left with not enough resources tried to get it forcefully therefore the origin of justice system should be traced back to this need of primitive humans to protect their privileges and material possessions from others of the same kind with frequent clashes between clans and conflicts for resources life was on the edge privileged settlers sensed the need of a force to protect their materials from wandering foragers and from the wrath of the less fortunate they shared a small part of their material gains to the collective cause of the hoarders to bring in a system which would protect them from the unfortunates the origin of every social system can be traced back to this need the sense of morality religion justice system and governments where all should be understood as the product of this need the hoarders and the fortunate gave a small portion of their wealth to few of the disadvantaged in exchange of security for their wealth from the wrath of the unfortunates their jobs were to safeguard the wealth and privileges of the hoarders from the needy when time passed these systems were evolved into courts which control human behavior in society such as government religion courts of punishment etc the powerful and influential members in the society formed systems to control the disadvantaged members of their own kind when settlers society evolved complications were added to the existing system the concept of crime is a very recent addition if you consider the length of time anatomically modern humans existed in fact the modern societies are not 
structurally different from the primitive ones. Majority of the wealth owned by few individuals, whereas many trudges trying to get a part of it. Rulers are directly influenced by the interest of the rich and influential. If not, they are the rulers themselves. Governments do everything they can to make the rich become richer by keeping the less privileged humans under control through legal enforcement of concepts such as righteousness, morality, patriotism, nationality and religion. All different political systems such as democracy, communism, dictatorship and socialism promotes the same status quo in society. All political systems create few individuals with immense power or wealth and a lot with nothing other than just enough to survive. These imbalances in power, privileges and material possessions is the crux of society. The poor always try to become rich and the rich will always try to multiply the wealth and privileges and protect it from the poor. The imbalance in the social structure creates enough momentum which keeps the world busy as against an egalitarian world where people don't have aspirations simply because all of them are equally satisfied. This deep-seated inequality is the founding principles of modern economy. Without it, governments will collapse, businesses cannot function, and vast bureaucracies will become non-essential. Greed, corruption, self-interest, unfairness, and inequality are the building blocks of human civilization, without which we could not have populated all lands on earth erected pyramids, destroyed more than half of the earth's forest, sent several species to extinction, and achieved modern technology. When the raw nature of human interactions is observable in the basic primitive societies with frequent wars, pilfers and plunders, modern societies it is concealed under the educated mass. When human societies evolved, we learn to obscure the basic unacceptable facts through sophisticated languages. All social concepts such as justice, equality, fairness, rights can be deconstructed into such elite languages. In fact, these are the extravagant languages developed by humans for obscuring the lack of fairness in everything which hold together human societies. What's missing in primitive societies is the elaborate language to obscure the raw nature of human existence, such as religious texts, widely recited moral principles, discourse on concepts such as egalitarian world, and imaginary concepts such as humanity or human rights. The French philosopher Michel Foucault made an interesting analogy of the evolution of punishment systems of the Western world in his book Discipline and Punish. In old days, often days used to be hung in public places where everyone could see it. This would occasionally result in rebellions, protest against governments. In the modern days, with the invention of the so-called civilized prison system, Convicts are murdered behind the closed doors. One cannot see what is happening and therefore cannot resist state power. All historical texts, religious or political, place few individuals in the society on a higher pedestal. The Roman Empire was built on the concept of divine rights, which explains the right to rule was granted to a person by the divine power. The right of a king or queen to be crowned and ruled were explained in a light language as God's act of choosing individuals of a particular lineage to rule the rest. 
most modern societies made their transition from monarchy to systems such as democracy the success of any modern government can be measured on how well they convince its citizens that they are working towards an utopian egalitarian society while they in fact serve the rich for their existence questions such as why corruption exist why human rights are violated why there are mass inequality in society are products of our beliefs that qualities such as justice mutual respect and non discrimination are the fundamental qualities of human interactions such misplaced beliefs results in impossible aspirations and anxiousness all of a sudden we think of or look at problems such as corruption or inequality is something which can be rectified with the enactment of a certain law or the change of a specific administrative style